Number 88, the capacitor in figure 23.55 A is designed to filter low frequency signals impeding their transmission between circuits letter A. What capacitance is needed to produce a 100 kilo ohm reactance at a frequency of 120 hertz? So whenever they're talking about reactance here and they're talking about a capacitance, what they're really telling you is the, uh, react, uh, the reactance of capacitance or the capacitive reactance. So um, we have a formula here. This is reactive capacitance, and that will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi multiplied by the frequency of oscillation multiplied by the actual capacitance. Now they're asking us to find the capacitance, so they're basically asking us to solve for C. So cross multiply it on a cross, cross multiply this on down, and notice here's the formula. So this is then simply going to be uh, 1 divided by now 2 pi to multiply then by the frequency. They told it to you in hertz, so you just leave it alone, just plug in the 120 and plug in the reactive um, capacitance now, and that's 100 kilo ohms, but be careful, we need an ohm, so take the 100 multiplied by 10 to the third, okay? Or basically it's 100,000 then, right? Now plug it on in. So one divided by parentheses two pi times 120 times 100 times 10 to the third. So this works out to be now 1.33 roughly times 10 to the minus eight and that's in farads. If you need it in a micro or milli or nano, or whatever, we know how to convert now, right? So that should be totally fine. So let's keep moving. Then letter B, it says, what would its reactance be at one megahertz? All right, so we need to find the uh, capacitive reactance at this frequency. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the formula again, that this is equal to one divided by then uh, two pi, uh, frequency times then the capacitance and what we the capacitance then is staying constant so what we found over here is we're going to plug it in for c the frequency has now changed so just change that value and let's calculate so this is 2 pi multiplied by the frequency that's in megahertz careful we got to convert that okay and then uh, the capacitance here is 1.33 times 10 to the minus 8 when i actually do the calculation i'm going to use the exact value from the calculator all right <clears throat> so 1 divided by parenthesis 2 pi times 1 times 10 to the 6th times then that exact answer from before. Close those parentheses. And we get basically 12. 12 ohms. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that takes care of that. And then C, discuss the implications of your answers uh, to, to A and, uh, and B. So, you know, as you can see, there's a couple of items that are changing, right? Notice um, here we're talking about a relatively higher reactive capacitance. All right. And notice the frequency then that's associated. Here now we're talking about a lower capacitive reactance. And now notice the uh, frequency. Okay. So basically as the as the frequency of oscillation increases, high frequency, right, we get less resistance, basically, all right? When we have a lower frequency, we get more uh, resistance. And that's basically that, all right? Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing if you can, and I will talk to you soon through the computer. Bye.